What's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Metal Gear Survive to load custom Lua scripts. The old method that we used in the Phantom Pain doesn't work on Survive and I've seen a lot of people making Lua mods by just modifying existing scripts, but you don't have to do that. So I have a custom script here called Nuke Menu. I'm going to copy it. We're going to go into good old 00.dat. This is a freshly unpacked 00.dat, so it doesn't have any mods installed right now. And we're going to go to ssd script lib, and I'm going to paste it in here. And the old way we would get them to load is by going into tpp.lua and adding them in here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just copy this here add it to the end of the list and change this to nuke menu. And then I'm going to save that and then from there normally you would modify tpp main and add your script to the update function. But I'm not going to even do that because I'm going to show you that this doesn't work. So uh, we need to go back to zero and add an entry for it here which I've already done. And this will let uh, GZ's tool repack 00.dat with the custom script. Alright, and now we have a repacked 00.dat with the custom script. So now if we try to launch survive, this happens. It just crashes. So obviously that isn't what we want to happen. Alright, so now let's do a little investigating into how the Lua system works in Survive. So let's start up HXD, which is just a hex editor if you don't know, and drag Survive into it. Now because the game supports Lua, it probably has a default Lua path. So if we search for Lua path, we can find this, and right here are all the paths it searches for Lua files by default. So we can tell that in its local directory it searches for Lua files, and it also searches for Lua files in a Lua folder. So we could just put our script right here next to it, or we can make a Lua folder. I'm going to make a Lua folder because it's a bit cleaner, and I'm going to move my script into here. So now we can go into 00.dat, back to TPP, I'm going in the wrong place, ssd script lib TPP, and we're going to want to remove this entry here because I already showed you that that doesn't work. So let's get rid of that. Now instead, we can scroll way down to the bottom here. We can see that what it's doing with that list at the top is adding them to this uh, table called require list. So we can just add to that table ourselves. Now what you could do is just directly add your script here and say nuke menu equals require nuke menu and then e dot underscore require list actually we might as well just copy this whole thing equals nuke menu we could do it that way but the better way is to rig this up to a script loader and then have our script loader load all of our other scripts so I'm going to call my script loader nuke strap and oops nuke strap and let's change it here as well all right and then we do need to modify tpp main as well so that it will update for us so I'm going to search for update go down here a little bit and these are where all of the update functions are called 
So I'm going to add in nukestrap.update. And there we go. And now we can go back to zero, remove the entry for nuke menu, and repack 00.dat. While that's repacking, let's make nuke strap. So let's go into the Lua folder here and make a new text file called nukestrap.lua. And it'll be pretty simple to set up. All we need to do is make a table. So this equals a table. This dot update. Sorry, function this dot update and put an end tag in there and then return this. And now from here we can add in any other script. So I'm going to add nuke menu in here. Nuke menu equals require nuke menu. And then we can call nuke menu dot update in here. And that should be all we need to do. Let's run survive. And you can tell that the game doesn't crash this time and it's loading. So that means that it hasn't encountered any script errors. And once we're on the uh, character selection screen, screen here, if we press the key combo to open the menu, it works. So anyway, that's how you can get Survive to load a custom script. It still is possible to get it to load custom scripts. It just takes a little bit more work, but it's actually easier in the long run because you can uh, modify your scripts without even having to repack 00.dat. Anyway, that's all for this video. I will see you guys in another video.